mic's not on. Oh, is it not? Yeah, I don't think the mics are on. None of them work. Well, Next. Cringe. 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 You're cringe. You're cringe. <laughs> You're cringe. <laughs> cringe. 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 So they did hear it. It's all uh, It's all out of It's all It out sounds of like uh, Apollo 13 right now. It's all out of whack, man. It's off See, its kilter. This Okay, so this hasn't This has been being weird. Yeah, it's off its axis. Yeah. It sounds like I'm an like? Air, It sounds like I'm an airline pilot a little bit. Well, is it is it okay now? I think it takes a little time to warm up, or I think it does. Yeah, uh, check one, one, two, test. Check, and check. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to United ninety three uh, <laughs> flight to New York. Okay, we haven't started yet. If it sounds this bad, is it sounding better? Yeah, it sounds good now. I think it does. I think. Gentlemen. I hear like a mild like. Yeah, in the background a little but bit. But you know, you never know what that is. God forbid you have technology next to your technology. I think it's fine. Yeah, but what I got to get rid of that. What is that? Uh, I think it'll go away. There's frequency. I think that happened last is time. Is there something against something right now? Is there a phone anywhere? Hmm. It might be my Widowmaker. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me... Uh... Yeah, Devin didn't tell us he got a stamp put in. Sorry, guys. You know, you guys don't really understand my lifestyle outside of this show, and it causes a lot of damage on the aorta. <laughs> I would love if like at 40 we're all like pacemaker guys we're all incredibly <laughs> we all just, we're all incredibly fucked up we all wheel in here on like rascal scooters with colostomy bags yeah we're like ram jam we're on dialysis yeah we're just gearing up for one last <laughs> one last shot of glory brother brother man well all right uh, have we do you, you guys want to start over or should we is this an episode no, it gives a no shit. it's well, fine you guys don't care there's gonna be episodes. a bunch of comments where people are like i wonder why you know he's he sucks ass well th- i've just i've just stopped <laughs> looking at them <laughs> yeah I don't really. yeah it's really if you never look they don't exist yeah you anymore. just move right on yeah it's just a man screaming into the Grand Canyon, <laughs> which is what it's, it's always been. Because I forgot to turn the headphone thing. I forgot to turn one of the 40 things I had to turn Get on. Get your shit together, man. <laughs> it's like a guy saying that, like, living in a basement uh-huh. surrounded by pythons. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shit together, re- yeah. retard. Being attacked by different reptiles. Yeah. Man, you fucking retard. <laughs> he, like, doesn't even know how to open a door. Yeah. He yeah. can't open a door. His shoulders are higher than his head. <laughs> he has to start his car like a go-kart. <laughs> It's got a, str- a string he pulls on it. Yeah. 22 hours till premiere. <laughs> Don't even let us know about it, retard. No one likes the premiere's dipshit. No one likes the premiere, you fucking retard. I bet you fuck your mom. You're a retard. Anyway, back to Huff and Paint. <laughs> that's, I listen to podcasts and I Huff Paint. <laughs> and that's how I pass the time. <laughs> Underground where I live. That that old timey prospector retard, that still is a thing. It's just it moved into a different trope of a guy. Yeah, they're looking they're mining for content now. Yes. <laughs> they're like, There's content in there, shit. God damn it, there's still people saying retard on the internet. And I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Yeah. I tell you. Just holding up a slur with a jeweler's loop mm-hmm. and looking at it. Yeah. A pan in the middle of just a fucking web stream. <laughs> just being like, yeah. he sees just one and he goes, okay, we're getting close. Yeah. We're getting close. Sifting at ones and zeros. <laughs> Lewis and Clark's hunt for the retard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why did everybody like those guys? Lewis and Ann Clark? Well, d- didn't they not do shit because on their journey they met a Native American lady and she goes, oh, you guys are going to die immediately. I'll show you the way. Yeah, I don't think that's how it went. I'm doing the drunk history version right now, but like they had a team of people. Dude, I love drunk history. Yeah, I think they had. <laughs> dude, dude, they were so drunk on that show. Yeah, drunk history was that so show. funny. Dude, I remember, like, dude, I learned about Eleanor Roosevelt and I saw Harris Whittles throw up. <laughs> dude, the show rule. Yeah, it's drunk history, but Harris Whittles is shooting heroin. Yeah. <laughs> Wyatt Cenac got so drunk, he said shit. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think they hired uh, they hired Sacagawea to go on the oh, on that the trip is right. They, Sacagawea, they like employed her. Mm-hmm. Well, they were like, we need some good pussy for the road. She was like their Sherpa. Yeah, mm-hmm. I yeah. guess she, I guess she got I guess she got hers because they put her on uh, one of those coins that they sold the old people in uh, infomercials for like a second. So she got her fifteen minutes. She got hers. Yeah, they gave her like a magic bullet. 
with mm-hmm. her name on it. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your Nutra system. Yeah. Now we're gonna go slaughter your whole family. <laughs> we're gonna kill you with blankets. <laughs> Am I having a stroke or was there a Sacagawea dollar? Yeah, it was the it was the gold it was a gold dollar. Like gold right? dollar. Yeah, I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. Back when the US was like, we'll give you fucking video game money from now on. Mm. Maybe that'll distract you from like the debt ceiling or inflation. Mm. Right. Yeah, they were just throwing out diversions back then. Having infomercials saying I think around that time too, wasn't that when the infomercials all came out saying you gotta invest in gold? Well that that's literally like just like that's like marketing to old people in like retirement homes. Yeah. Those are people that's right. like, it's like if we air it at 5 a.m. between, you know, episodes of like the most racist, between episodes of Matlock, mm-hmm. we just have the Buffalo nickel was the whitest nickel ever produced. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a guy who just killed a bunch of Japanese people mm. and then sold insurance. And now he's dying. He's like, well, I went down, went to white nickel. <laughs> and then he. He calls up QVC and they're like, "Hello," and he's like, "Can I can I give you my entire grandchildren's inheritance for your yeah. pure white yeah. nickels? I find an Iwo Jima and I would like one of your Please. shiny nickels. Take their inheritance; they're interracial." <laughs> Wild to be an, an old folks' home guy because they just buy, they buy they they get duped all the time. They <laughs> fall for every scam on it mm-hmm. on the internet because their brain looks like a. You know, after a cue ball has been in a pool hall for too long, yeah, it's all dented up and scuffed up. It's not even round anymore. Yeah, that's their brain, it, and they they just buy like bracelets on TV, or they just fuck constantly. They all apparently STD rates in old folks' homes are what? insane. Well, really? Well, because yeah. they they all have Alzheimer's, so they're all accidentally raping each other. It would be funny if it wasn't tragic, <laughs> Wait, is right? That is that it's really? Literally, it? It's literally what I've heard. What I've heard. <laughs> Oh my god! Is that like there'll just be an old guy just shuffling, and he'll like go in the wrong room, and it'd be like, "It's Ether, my dead wife," <laughs> and then she'll be like, "Maurice, my husband, <laughs> Maurice," and then they'll and then they'll just fuck the shit. I mean, he'll stuff his limp noodle dick into her gross pussy. Mm. Yeah, and then they'll be like, "Ah, we both fucked our dead spouses," and then they like leave, and oh. then like later, you know, he's like, "Why do I have?" gonorrhea it's because I, I raped myself into another woman's pussy so they're 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 fucking other old people though right yes yeah right. they're not like raping the nurses really sick there's not like an old guy out there like i've always wanted myself a buffalo soldier <laughs> uh, the uh, sweat the sweat beads off the hair come here bumba clat <laughs> Yeah, the the young attendants are still getting overpowered. Still getting overpowered by some right. It's like year old it's man. like the sisters, but they're eighty five years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like you're gonna check whatever I pull out of these slacks <laughs> and un, unbuttoning pants that start up here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. With a zipper that yeah. uh, that he, mm-hmm. he stole from a tent. He's like, all right, you're going to check what I put out of these slacks. Let me get my utility tool I used to get undressed. <laughs> He's got one of the arm grabbers. <laughs> so he can just, he can kind of roll away and open a zipper. Yeah. He's got to roll his rascal scooter at a high rate of speed to hit the bed so he flies out of it yeah. into her asshole. He reaches in like he's going to pull his cocky, but he just pulls out balls. He's like, all right. I got this. <laughs> My balls got so long and descended, they pulled my dick back inside my body. Uh, he's like, it really helps out that watch trick. What's the watch trick? <laughs> when you put your like, you go like, dude, you know the tie, or don't you like put like your balls over your 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 wrist? And you go, yeah. dude, you know, look at the tie. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's funny. And then it's yeah, it's, well, I think that's one with your dick. There's with your also dick, yeah. there's also the I found a baby bird, which there was a guy in our middle school who did that all the time. He'd like be walking with his hands. He's like, dude, check it out. I found a baby bird. <laughs> and then he'd he'd open his hands. Like you get closer and he'd open his hands, it'd just be his cock. <laughs> and his hands, like his cock and balls. That's great. As a guy who loves birds, I would fall for that all the time. You'd fall for that over and over yeah, again. Yeah, over and over again. Right. Yeah. You try to identify it mm-hmm. still. You're in the Merlin app being <laughs> yeah. like, Oh, it's a speckled it's a speckled wood <laughs> I'm trying to feed it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the way, I have seeds in my hand. Your birds need to. Need to I'm going to call CPS for your birds. You're, I'm glad you guys finally saw my birds today. They're really. They're being treated really poorly. Mm-hmm. They're all overweight. The toeys, especially the California toeys, specifically are. They're too fat to fly. They look like Artie Lang. <laughs> 
They legitimately look. They look fucked up. Yeah, you were like, we were downstairs. You're like, oh, that's Charlie, and I saw a bird. I saw a bird hopping. <laughs> yeah, as it's flapping its wings. No, it's the, like turned they, into a bullfrog. They look like you're feeding them Alka Seltzer. <laughs> They all look like they're on the verge of exploding. Right. They look like they're they look like they're acting in the Sopranos, these birds. <laughs> they look like they drive Tony. <laughs> and then Tony starts a fight with them because he thinks they're stronger. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, the, the the birds look like they're just like, I don't know, Tony, it's a lot of bird seed, you know. Mm. Times are good. Why don't you shut the fuck up, you blue breasted fucking prick? Jesus fucking Christ, go over here fucking squawking all fucking day. You blue breasted speckled out the fuck. You fucking god no. I hate fucking cardinals. Fucking red pieces of shit. Yeah, my daughter's dating a mockingbird. <laughs> I can't stand it. Uh, daughter's dating a crow. It's a cobra cat. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> people have accused me on the internet of like animal cruelty for feeding my people birds because accuse, they say they can find seeds anywhere. Right, so if you right. if you give them seeds, they're just overeating. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and, and I am witnessing right. them become incredibly overweight. Well, that you are <laughs> torturing them and <laughs> leading them to an early death, but I still don't find it to be animal abuse. Yeah, because they're birds. They're birds. Yeah. yeah. They can fly away. Mm. I saw one get killed the other day. I witnessed it. Good. One of my, uh, I think it was one of the. You curb stomped it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Did you it show was... it? Did you show it your tattoo too? Oh, like a master gardener. <laughs> See this? Yeah. It's not fucking welcome. <laughs> no crows in this backyard. Uh, fucking curb stomping birds. <laughs> uh, this a uh, fucking. I think it was a bush tit. One mm. of those, one of those little fuckers. Yeah, yeah. The things that are like they, they're really tiny. Yeah, that you could just like walk up to them and just. Yeah, <laughs> those are like the pennies of birds. <laughs> yes, they're they're nothing. Yeah, you they're give them the homeless baby like a hair. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, throw them in a tray at Seven yeah. Eleven. <laughs> throw them in the trash. I throw change away sometimes. <laughs> it's like, so you reach we- you reach in your pockets. You're like, oh, I got all these fucking bush tits. God. <laughs> You're like, honey, do we have a... Should I just throw these away? I feel weird throwing them away. You're putting them in a big glass Coke bottle. Yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of tiny fucking birds. You're throwing them in cl- and they, they're just dying. They're suffocating. <laughs> yeah. And then at the end of the year, my my bitch wife makes me take them to a coin star. Yeah. And I dump them in and they just turn into fucking a smoothie. Yeah. The coin machine grinding them up. Or you just take them to McDonald's, turn them into chicken nuggets. That's and, true. And just squirt Chick-fil-A sauce all over them. <laughs> or some uh, epic uh, heckin' Rick and Morty sauce. Yeah, some Szechuan Depending sauce. Depending on what kind of retard you are. Some Szechuan yeah. sauce, Are you a dude. Rick and Morty retard or are you just a regular kind of retard? Yeah. But uh, I, a Kestrel. I figured out what hawk it was because uh, I have like this photographic memory now because you have to... Birds are quick, so you have to like, like, as you see the bird, and then you th- then you like sit on a stone, and you think, and you go, okay, fucking, it was brown on the bottom, and I think there were streaks of yellow, and you try to like, you know, yeah, you uh, go, that was Drake. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, and then you have to go back, and you have to like play, uh, like some, f- you have to be some freak detective. And you narrow it down to five birds, and it's like, guess who? Mm-hmm. And then you you finally like, I'm, and then you start listening to the sounds of all the birds, and then you start eliminating. It's like picking out a suspect, right? In a, right. In a jailhouse, except you're just trying to figure out what birds in your yard. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it took one of my took one of my bush tits. It's dead. It it ate a hawk. Yeah, the, a kestrel. Well, that's beautiful. That's 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 the ecosystem. That's everything working perfectly. I, it bummed me out. To you, it's beautiful. Why? What? What? what, what did it, you have a great conversation with it last week? <laughs> what are you talking about? How did it bum you out? It's yeah, an inanimate yeah. object that flies. Right. <laughs> it's the same as a cat. Yeah. The people that talk. Oh, is the cat in the house? It's, who cares? It's like a house plant that moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a plastic it's not, fern. It's not like oh, that cat had almost paid off its mortgage. Oh no, <laughs> what are that you talking cat. About? It was. It was having such a great twilight <laughs> period of its life. Like yeah. it's a cat. You never hear about cats saving anyone's life. No, they w- wait for you to die and then they like eat you. Yeah. Fuck, really? They're sociopaths. Cats, I think there's like, the, like they've done studies like cats eat you like within the first yeah. day of you dying alone. Cats in your are just, mm. are cute reptiles. <laughs> and oh, they yeah. also, they also eat your face. Like they eat your eyeballs mm-hmm. out and your tongue. Mm-hmm. And, they pl- and then knowing them, they play with it. Yeah. Yeah. They toy with you. 
Yeah, you want that? Yeah. Do they like live inside you like a, like a Skywalker? They probably the do. They probably like gut you like Bear grills and then live inside of you for warmth. Mm, push all your shit out mm-hmm. and then crawl in there. They treat you like a moose in Alaska. Mm. Yeah, your two cats have you just strung up. They're smoking you. Like into the wild. Yeah, they tie you with that pot rose string. <laughs> yeah, what is that, by the way? I don't know why they do that. That yo yo string. It's for yo yos and pot rose. It's been on my mind for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. This is you trying to do comedians in cars. Like, yeah. what's with that pot roast string? Jerry, I'm like nervous. I'm yeah. like, you ever think about the pot roast string? Why don't you go off on that? Right. And what a like, car, by the way. And then he's like, right, right. And then you're like, what? Why'd you fuck that girl? <laughs> she was a young girl. Why'd you fuck her? Jerry just drives <laughs> off of a bridge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jerry picks you up in a tank. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I mean, your birds, they're fine. Go my, ahead. Keep torturing. My them. dislike for cats, though, is actually fairly pragmatic. Mm-hmm. Cats, I just don't like their tongues. It's too scratchy. Dog, dogs have softer tongues like sponges. And I love when dogs lick me on the face and lick my toes. Yeah, and I don't like when lick cats my body. Yeah. Cat, cats Mm-mm. also have the thing where they're like, if it's a good cat, I like it. And it's like cool and it'll just like lay on your lap. But then there's like, you have a 50 50 shot of getting a cat where they're like, Oh yeah, it just claws my face up if I get near it. And they're like, mm-hmm. what? And like, literally, if you Google what to do about it, it's like, just don't go near the cat anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's it. You can't correct it. Yeah, yeah. You just you brought a sociopath into your house. Yeah, and he has eight little knives. I, I like cats that kind of like like uh, hurt you a little bit though. I like when they come up and they yeah, kind of like wake you up. There's some that'll nip. But yeah. then there's other ones that'll just like turn you into fucking like a a villain in a Bond movie. <laughs> yeah, women love having cats because it like distracts from them cutting themselves, and they just show up and they go. <laughs> so crazy my cat he's yeah. always scratching me my cat cut me 45 times That's down so the length weird. of my arm yeah Does your cat like nirvana too mm-hmm. <laughs> now, but how do you guys feel about Great big fat cats, like a very like a cat that's very overweight. I hate it's fat about animals. To die. I don't respect fat animals <laughs> much like people. So you don't like my toeies? No, I don't like when animals get fat. Mm. It goes against like I'm like that's just you're not supposed to look like a a, a product of gluttony. You're not, mm-hmm. I don't want like a cat to look like a Walmart you know <laughs> yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a dog. You, you don't want to. Dogs are overfed by shitty owners. I know. Like, He's my love of dog, my life. Dogs, especially because cats just kind of like they're blobs. They'll just kind of like roll like a slug. But a dog is like. It gets fat, and they're like, he's my big, chonky guy. It's like, <laughs> dude, his ACLs are blown yeah. out. <laughs> dude, like, you'll see, you'll see, like, an overweight wiener dog, and it's, like, walking. It's just, like, it's just blowing out a knee. <laughs> like, its knee shifts over. You're like, dude, this is, like, a fucking NFL. Like, you have yeah. to put this down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want a dog that looks like a Yankees fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, when dogs- your, dog, your dog, like, looks like Bo <laughs> yeah. Jackson at the end of his career. Your dog looks like it It, it uh, calls uh, marinara sauce Sunday gravy. <laughs> Dogs, when dogs get fat, it fucking chokes them. So like when a dog yeah, is evil. fat, it's just sitting there and it can't breathe. There's a ton of owners that just overfeed their dogs and they, they think it's cute and they objectify them. That's and it's like up, fucked man. up. The dog like wants to run and play free. Well, that's what they also do. They're like, they're like, I don't know what happens. Like he's you run a jail for him. Yeah. You're yeah. fucking up. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like it's like, oh, I can't stop. Like he keeps making sandwiches. Yeah. You know? Here's the thing. Owning a dog, owning an animal First off, you're already you're owning it in a kind of a weird, sick, like objectifying relationship. It's an asset. It's an asset. It's just there to make you feel better. You feed it. You love it. You pretend it's all knowing and, mm-hmm. and better than everyone else's. And it gives you serotonin, it right? It gives Jason? you or dopamine if petting you pet it. it petting shit. it calms you down. Everything. It's all great. But like when you overfeed it and don't care, and it becomes all fat, and you kind of get off to how cute that is. That's like just that's just fucked up to me. It's 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 that's like ultimate objectification. Yeah, you're you know? a, you're a weird feeder guy. Yeah, yeah. it's very yeah. strange to me. You're like one of those. You know, you see it at Walmart sometimes where there's a guy who weighs ninety eight pounds and he's got a wife who's like five hundred, <laughs> and you're yeah. like you can tell it's almost like it's like a a weird fish in and like a a thing that it lives inside of. Like this thing goes out and brings food back. It's oh, like a you mean when a little shark is when a shark has like a fish, a sucker right. fish on its belly? Yeah, yeah. At, at Walmart you'll see human barnacles, you know. Yeah, and yeah. they're like whales that like swim around with them. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. That's what's kind of great about Emma, our three-legged dog, is she she is disabled, but it's it wasn't tech, it was my fault because I ran her over with my car. It wasn't your fault, but it though. wasn't my. Right. She got ran over by my car. It's it's different, mm-hmm. but she wasn't listening. You had to mm-hmm. teach her something. That's right. I had to back up over her. 
<laughs> you're like misery for dogs. <laughs> well, yeah. you also you tell the story like you saw her a hundred feet away. And no, you're she's like, a yep, black... that's a dog. I'm not slowing down. <laughs> nope. Like, nope. No, it should know better. I'm going to teach it a lesson. <laughs> no, it flew out in the fucking Texas night. Yeah. There was no nothing you could do. You saved her life. I know. She owes you everything, and that's why she loves you. And that's why uh, I will, uh, later in life, as she deteriorates, I'm just going to... I haven't looked this up, if it's possible, but uh, I'm going to see if I can get her a rascal scooter. <laughs> And then I'm going to allow her to let herself go and get really fucking fat. And we're going to walk around Walmart. That'll we're gonna, be great. I'll, I'll get fucking fat as shit, too. I'll, yeah. get, I'll get Charlie fat from the whale yeah. with my fucking disabled dog. And we'll both ride around That'll in Rascal awesome. Scooters like it's Mario Kart. You guys go to Walmart. Emma's just pawing M&M albums into your cart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah. Emma's yeah. like, oh, a Jeff Dunham DVD. <laughs> yeah. He throws it in. <laughs> Putting it in. Emma starts barking because there's no Fago there. Mm-hmm. Well, you guys know once she once she can't walk anymore, I don't have the heart to put her down. So that means she's just going to become really fat. She's going to become a stump. You're gonna ha- you're gonna end up getting her the um because her back legs will go out because they yeah. they get all the stress. Well, her front leg is the one that's missing. Well, one- no, I know, but so, so that means you'll- more support's been on the back legs. Yeah. I imagine. Oh, uh, you'll give her the little like the dogs in the in the two wheels in the back. Yeah, then, then, then they'll I've have that. that. I, we never had the heart to get Sheba that. But yeah, I don't know. I yeah. feel I, I always kind wonder of, like it is funny like turning your dog into Iron Man or something. I want to put Emma in the suit from a- Alien. Oh, you know, the mech suit. The mech suit. I want to yeah, give yeah. her some shit. Same like that. size. You've given her like the power of a god. Yeah, yeah. Because she still she likes to get out and roam all over the neighborhood despite the coyotes that are hunting her down. And like if I gave her a mech suit, she would just terrorize all of L.A. County. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she'd rob liquor stores. She'd do GTA style shit if you gave her a mech suit. Mm-hmm. She'd burn houses down. She she'd commit hate crimes. No, she's a radicalized animal. Mm-hmm. I've never met a dog oh, like Emma warrior. in my whole life, and I love dogs. Been around a million of them. Mm-hmm. I've never met a dog like Emma. Extremely human. Mm-hmm. Looks at you almost like there's an understanding of her pain. Mm-hmm. She's like a Native American. Mm-hmm. Like you like look at her, you, <laughs> like a single tear drops. Yeah, she's got a mystical, almost ancient yeah. pain inside. There's like her. a samurai. Weird, yeah. If you like. If you litter around her, she cries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Emma, if she was a person, depending on how she was born, she would either, either be like in the Capitol on January 6th or she'd be like a Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's willing to be radicalized by either side. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she's so pure. She's so full, filled with light that now coyotes are sleeping in my backyard and hunting my precious Emma. Mm-hmm. They do not care about Big Fat Gracie. We got to do something about these goddamn coyotes, by the way. Okay? I'll hammer them to death. Well, before you guys got here, we were remember we were all going to go to the paintball gun store and buy paintball guns. I know, and they're, it's too far away. Too, too far. We got to order them. Order them on Amazon. Get, get I'll me put it one. on the company card. Put it on the company. I don't I'll, I don't mind my pay being Doc. <laughs> yeah. Doc, Doc <laughs> Devin's pay. I think that's a good idea. Doc, my pay. Actually, it, Jace, it's on me. <laughs> okay. I want I want that really cool Magnum looking gun. Yeah. There, is this is this, is this oh, uh, frightening the, of me the pointing the, the revolver? Hammer at you? The revolver one? Yeah, give me that revolver one. There is I sent Ben a there's a the, the, one thing I love about the PayPal community is like they they're like we do have guns that'll get you shot by the police if you want that. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a hand cannon from Death Wish. But here's what They'll I give say. you like a black guy's hand that you can shoot paintballs <laughs> out of. <laughs> It's a black guy's hand holding a gun. Like, and you can hold it in mm-hmm. your. It only, like, yeah, right it only holds sideways. <laughs> and the cops show up; they're just confused. They're like, "He's being taken hostage by his hand." <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Some uh, s- some sick black guy sewed his hand onto this good white man." <laughs> And now the hands gone. It's like a Doctor Jekyll mm. and uh, Mister Hyde situation. I don't get what you're saying. It's like Army of Darkness, but instead of the instead of the chainsaw, yeah, it's, it's, fucking, it's a Army, black guy's hand. It's Army of Darkness, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, what were we gonna say, Devin? We get paintball guns. We get all. We, we get them. You got to get like a big, like a like a rifle one. Mm-hmm. Ah, like, and then I Jace want and a, I um, both um, have hand a lever guns. action. You, you get whatever you want, or a actually. bolt action. I'm sorry. We sit out back. We record it, live stream it for the live streamers. And we film it, and it's like Tony waiting for the bear mm-hmm. in in The Sopranos. We sit out there, we smoke cigars, we live stream, and that we could capture the 
those fucking those fucking savages coming oh, they're, down they're, and we shoot yeah. at them on the live stream that'd be mm, fucking yeah. awesome by the yeah. way they, they've been if you ever been on ben square they've been targeting emma basically yeah. no they're like they're they, like sharks they're circling following my house. her everywhere she because goes. she has three legs yeah they found out she has three legs they already fought emma and emma rolled down the hill and i think fell in the pool like yeah. a weird three stooges moment. No, they're, they're treating emma, was standing over emma as she's drowning in the pool when i came out they're treating her like she's a whistleblower and they're the clintons <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Emma did escape from them like mm-hmm. like uh, No Country for Old Men. Like she ran into the river, yeah, had to yeah. shoot one of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think she went in the pool to like get away from them. Yeah, Emma's like been framed for something. Or <laughs> she's like a patsy. <laughs> yeah, she's like the future. Yeah, Emma's gonna die falling down a like a, a, a stairwell. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's gonna. They're just gonna fucking push her down. Emma's Jack Ruby. <laughs> 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 so we were looking up like it was very funny like i was you you sent me this and i'm i have to dog sit this weekend i'm very worried i'm going to texas i always have yeah. a fear that like you guys are like i'm gonna dog sit and i just get there and the dogs are dead and now it's my <laughs> fault and then, and then you we know you're lying yeah. right yeah like i sh- i show up and i've been framed and yeah. the dogs just yeah. have their heads cut off I'm always terrified <laughs> yeah. of that too when i house sit <laughs> I just I I panic and I walk. I'm trying to push their heads back together. <laughs> I'm like, no, you're okay. You go buy another dog. You chop its left leg off and then color it black. <laughs> yeah, I have to go to like some sick Kevorkian yeah. type thing doing experiments. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I wanted Ben to get the paintball gun before because I'm I'm nervous about it. I I told him I was just gonna stand up here on the second floor and just like go charles whitman mode yeah just like i'm the ut sniper yeah. no we need to uh hire an architect to build a clock tower for us to climb <laughs> just so we can like yeah. really get into yeah, character just so i see a little coyote like carrying books to class mm-hmm. and i could be like well you're gone yeah <laughs> but it's very funny you, i was googling like what to do and it, it, like you go to like a li- like a liberal type site and it's like well you can buy a bunch of stuff that doesn't work yeah and like still get mauled and then there's like a couple like Kumia type guys where they're like, listen, sometimes a man has to do <laughs> what he's got what, to what do. he's got to do to protect his family. <laughs> his family. His family. Like, you buy you buy a double trigger magnet paintball gun <laughs> with the with the chrome extension. <laughs> and I know a guy, I know a guy in Alberta, he'll give you a tank that's technically not legal. It'll fucking It'll turn a it'll turn a coyote head into mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, paintball gun that will kill someone. <laughs> it shoots it so well, fast. Well, somebody it was funny. I was like deep on a forum, and like somebody's like, "Yeah, paintball gun's the way to go because it doesn't like fuck them up, but it, it, they know to like go away." And you right. don't do the BB gun, you said, because it just it causes infections in their body. BB gun they... it turns them into like the Confederate like soldier, like they're getting their legs sawed off by another coyote. Right, right. Because it gets infected, like they get gangrene. Right. But some I was deep on a forum, and another guy was like, "You know what you should do is like." There's metal BB metal paintballs you can buy and put in the and it's like that's oh, ju- that's right. just a yeah. gun yeah yeah like, just shoot it with a magnet just treat them like Antifa yeah. <laughs> you know what you should do you should put you should get a paintball gun and put bullets in it yeah and exactly. then shoot that at people yeah I love the options that that Jay said that when he found online for yeah. like the the liberal where it's like you could buy coyote piss <laughs> <laughs> you could, of coyote you, piss. imagine the low point of your life where you're actually like you're putting your debit card number in to buy coyote piss mm-hmm. also just imagine like having to like wonder about like how somebody sees that like i'm not a deviant i haven't <laughs> oh, yeah yeah like, no 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 officer i can explain this 80 yeah. liter jug of piss and the officer's like well you do have a trip to palm springs planned uh what is the coyote piss for <laughs> it furries have definitely bought it oh definitely but yeah the oh, liberal yeah. sites were like what have you tried letting the coyote fuck your wife yeah yeah, yeah. there's liberals that try and buy star fox's piss <laughs> I, I think though, gentlemen, we're gonna have to go the Andy No route. We're gonna have to put like concrete in milkshakes and throw them at the coyotes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to do like we're gonna have to shoot rock salt at them and mm-hmm. stuff. Andy No's route is like yeah, like put, wait, Andy No got hit with cement milkshakes, right? Uh, I can't remember. I don't. Even, uh, maybe who, I'm misremembering. It. I think you're probably right. I think he got hit with them. Well, he got hit with a milkshake, and then he lied and said it was uh, filled with. Lead I had a big or, rant about. He that said it was guy a, there was a bomb in the milkshake. on like Hate Watch, and everyone was like, "You're retarded! Fucking all he did was get attacked." And like, a- Andy knows fucking awesome. Andy knows the only He's fucking punk rock dude. <laughs> you, see, you know, listen, I've had my own thoughts about Asians, but Andy knows a good one. That's like the comments I got. <laughs> right. 
He's a good guy. His name sounds like the N word, kind of. <laughs> you know how we all like Panda Express? Think of Andy, you know, that mm. way. You could accept him, mm-hmm. you fucking asshole. <laughs> And then Ian Miles Strong just like says it, yeah, and they're yeah. like, "Well, he's definitely in." Mm-hmm. No, it's guys that think their only choices in life are Andy No or like Tariq, uh, or Tariq uh, Nasheed, yeah, or like a fucking who was that guy? That grifter Sean. Uh, oh, the what guy the who pretended happened to, be... to that guy? Yeah, the Drake of lies. Uh, Sean, <laughs> the, the guy who's white, right? Yeah, Sean. Sean, uh, uh, the... Sean White. Sean Ta- not Taylor. Know. Sean Taylor was killed. Who cares? Uh, he's, he's dead. <laughs> forget his name. Who cares? His fucking fake lineup. Mm-hmm. He'd have to easily tell his barber to like just get rid of his widow's peak every week. God, what is his fucking name? Fuck, that guy Sean was, King. Sean, Sean King. Yes, thank you. God, that guy sucked ass. Who? He, and he is white, by the way. Yeah, he's a white guy yeah. that just gets a lineup. Mm-hmm. I think they found out he he like doesn't have like he said he had like black parents and then like they found out that wasn't true. Yeah, he yeah. found out both his parents are white and then he said his mom came to him mm-hmm. and said she, like when she was twenty she got her shit busted by a black guy mm-hmm. and like that's why he's black. Uh, wait, so he is interracial or no? He claims, but I don't think I don't think he is. Yeah, okay. and then if you just look at him, you know, she's like my yeah, my mom fucked herself with a pair of Jordans one time, and that's me. <laughs> yeah, when I was conceived, my dad was wearing a yeah. a, a, a jersey. Guys, so. my both my parents are white, but he was wearing like a Michael Jordan's <laughs> Wizards jersey when it happened. So I mean, come on, that's pretty black. Yeah, he's asking logic for an N-word pass. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know. He might he might be half black, half white, because it says here he claims he needed a $40,000 guard dog because of his BLM advocacy. So he is spending a lot of money on fighting dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I said half black, half white, though, so he's like right, really... Right, so he started a GoFundMe yeah, for Yeah, so he pitbull. fights like a poodle and a pit bull, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that is the perfect combo of yeah. white versus black, yeah. I, I believe it Well, now. everyone online always... Dog every nuts. conservative says that he's a fake black guy that is completely white, but I, he does have... Mm-hmm. He looks a little... Listen, I'm saying a different word. He looks a little nougaty. Nougat. Nougat color. Devin, 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 careful. Easy. Nougaty you gotta, colors. You got to do a vocal <laughs> warm up. This is from La 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 La. The, Nougaty. This is like when that guy uh, walked on that th- rope across the Twin Towers or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck. Yeah, 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 this is. It's man on wire man for on getting wire. canceled. Yeah. <laughs> he, I'll, walk, I'll walk between two slurs and not touch either one of them. I'm only saying the same two thing. Two towers of slurs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just one. Yeah, just balancing. Just like about to fall. Everybody's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, yeah, Chris Rock. It's from Chris Rock. He said it in Never Scared. He he described like a black guy mm. with a type of skin tone that looked nougaty. Nougaty. That's uh, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Nougat. Well, all of his packs and stuff are. He just funds like he just buys show dogs, and he lives in the lakefront New Jersey home. He's like the rest of them. So he buys show dogs. What? Well, he bought like a. I mean, he bought a what is he like forty thousand dollar thoroughbred dog. He's a Christopher dog Guest through character. His pack. <laughs> Uh, the dog looks badass. It looks like the dog from. Uh, uh, he bought the dog from Sandlot. That kicks ass. All right, cool, whatever. Oh, he bought but, like like a bull mastiff but is or he, something. What yeah. does his mom and dad look like? His oh. mom, they look like Warren Buffett and whatever his stupid. Yeah, so he's like. like he's le- he's fully white. I guess I don't know. His Hold parents on. look like deacons <clears throat> up at church. Let me hit the googs real quick. Hit the googs. I don't know, because I mean, I, I saw like everybody, like mostly, pretty much conservatives being t- saying that he's uh, definitely white and he's lying, and I'm like, yeah, I'll run with that, but like, because he's annoying. But I don't. Is that tr- fully true? Yeah, also I con- think as a rule, if you benefited from Black Lives Matter, you're you're not black. Yeah, you're probably yeah. not. I mean, it's just I don't know. I just oh, can't. I mean, that's his wife, Billie Jean King, right there. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry, that's his mom. His, I mean, his mother. Here, let me zoom on this yeah. for the folks at home. Okay, so that's his mom. Obviously, that woman could never fuck a black guy. That woman was obviously a part of the Panthers. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she, she just like let's Photoshop a Kangol cap on her. Mm-hmm. Well, but, yeah, I just want I want to get to the bottom of this because I can never tell what conservatives if the, what they're saying is true online. Because like lately, the whole thing is like you know they say like uh, there's a diversity yeah, hire. I mean that's that's Joe DeRosa right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's not a black guy. That's not a black guy, man. Yeah, I don't know. He kind of looks. He looks like a like a black guy that would be in like a Spike Lee movie. That's like the the one that got the white 
skin tone. I mean, mm-hmm. he looks he looks like Dave Chappelle playing a white guy. He doesn't yeah. look black. He looks nine eleven. y He does. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Is that his mom? That's, yeah. Yeah. Whoops, okay. Well, what's what's Pop look like? That's not uh, melatonin. That's fucking ash. His dad better look like Iceberg Slim. <laughs> Is that that's his, his dad? dad? Yeah, uh, no, that, that's, that's the mother of Tamir Rice. Oh, jeez. Uh, Devin, come on. Fuck me! Please. Can you look up Sean King dad real quick? Yeah, we're going to yeah. look up Sean King dad now that we've seen the mom. Hell yeah. Sean, Sean King, King dad. dad. It's just Let's Steve see. Harvey. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a real whirlwind here. It, it, his first picture is with Cornell, Cornell West. West. That ain't there your, you go. That ain't your dad. That's his dad right there. He hides his dad. He ain't letting anyone see his dad. So he right. must be that's paying him trying, Google. That's him trying to appear more black. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. he's like, hey, I don't have a dad. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We got to go to Vox. Is that God him in high it. school? I got to say, I would think he's black. Mm-hmm. I would think he's half black at least. Yeah, show me the high school pic real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm not a hundred percent on him being white. I do mm, think he is. I that's he, that's yeah. That's I don't know, man. Puerto, that's almost like Puerto Rican. Yeah, yeah. yeah I th- maybe mm-hmm. he's just like I don't know. If he's from New York, it's like passable because everyone from New York just like can act black if they grew up around like a lot of brick buildings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like if you're from like I mean you know like Andrew Schultz, it's like he has that accent. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah you know I I stand in front of bodegas. Right. Like I can get away with this. I knew yeah. a lot of stoops growing up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know. Okay, so this, Sean King, my real dad is black. A day after the man listed on Sean King's birth certificate as his father was revealed to be white, the prominent Black Lives Matter activist said the man is not his biological father. Oh, boy. But he also hasn't really been in the news. Like, Sean King's not really breaking no, because anything he, anymore. He just got canceled for all that shit. He got canceled for all that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think he made like $10 million during BLM. He made a yeah, lot? He made yeah, his, he made his cash. Good like, for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. BLM is really just like a real estate group. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sadly, it really it's, is. That's what I mean. Hey, I didn't fucking do the. Yeah, yeah. I didn't it, do the research it, on it. it. They they did. It mm-hmm. was like the Oklahoma land rush where they're just like, all right, there's there's land out there, just go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just bring your sign. Right. Get Wh- a house. Whoever's the gayest on the plot first during the summer of 2020, you get to keep it. Mm. It's like the Oklahoma Sooners. That's why they called them Sooners, because they were all trying to rush to oh, really? a plot of land. Yeah, Jace, God, you fucking blow my mind every week. <laughs> mind mind epically blown. Epic. Yeah, Epic. I mean, he, even his wife said uh, that he can conf- confirm both parents are white. And mm. she's like, he's never eaten my yeah, His pussy. wife's like, he loves Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I mean, I don't know who who knows. I mean, it's one of those things though. There's no picture of his pop. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, based off pictures, if you gun to my head, I'd say there's he's a little black. Yeah, I he's at least enough where I would feel insane accusing him in public. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, I would never say he's <laughs> definitely not black. But uh, though I mean, she doesn't look black. The mom does not look black. No, no, his mom looks. He looks. He does look white. His mom looks his like photos. Nancy Reagan. Yeah, that. I mean, that looks like a white kid. Yeah, but it looks like a white kid with a little black in him. Mm-hmm. His hair is a little curly. I mean, what is he like? now? Hold on. Now his wife's black. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Rachel. His that's wife's Ra- definitely black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, his wife just played Cleopatra. I think we got to the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, I think ultimately, just you know, you do you, you do you play. Yeah, you do yeah. you, pimp. You know, secure the. You remember with that like one year period where secure the bag yeah, was the all to anyone defend, said like the most irrepresentable. No matter what happened, mm-hmm. they were like, "Yo, he killed those people to secure the bag." <laughs> yeah, they were talking about Hitler. Like <laughs> he got the bag, Hit, uh. but Hitler got the bag though. <laughs> he got that Nazi gold swag. <laughs> he, secu- he secured the bag. I hated that phrase so much. I hated it. It was too. always to defend like the objectively worst. It was art. all that 2020 bullshit where it was like the bubble. Even the uh, the NBA with the bubble, it was all just like yo bubble basketball built different. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> they get in the bag. Uh, yeah, is uh, that his dad? I Fucking think uh, this, finally, Twitter is has that it. actually his father. Are According you kidding me? According to this me? person on Twitter, I mean, Google has scrubbed this. His so. dad is the Why Gary we live Why in guy. China. <laughs> That's him. His dad's Gary Pache. Oh my god. That's not. Is that his dad? Apparently, yeah. Apparently. But that's just some bullshit on Twitter. I don't know. 
This is what everybody's saying on Twitter, it, so it has to be probably true. Is so he, but what's the last tweet Sean King did? Because if it's after all this, then that's true. Then it's true. He hid, and th- that's his dad. And his dad looks like Tom Selleck. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I literally have You blocked him. <laughs> I have him blocked. Hold on. Unblock. Unblock. <laughs> all right, you're about to be... Don't, don't, uh... Yeah. No wandering eyes, Sean King. You're about to be blocked wait, again. Wait. <laughs> Is he like Ford DeSantis? Not, like, maybe he turned fully? Oh, no, no. No, 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 no that's He's just retweeting a loser course, on Twitter who talks about politics. A person who's wasting their fucking life on Twitter talking about anything uh, yeah. politically. You this is kind real... of the, these guys, the route they have to go, they just start retweeting. You know, he's like the Sarah Cooper of politics. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Where yeah. Sarah Cooper's like, well, I can't. My my writer got banned from Twitter, so. Yeah. Right. And she's he's like, just... I'll retweet what sandwich is the best. <laughs> he's just retweeting uh, uh, articles from the Atlantic saying Twitter's a far-right social network now. I mean, they, they're just, you know. It's an upside doing... down dead bird, like Twitter's dead. Yes. And it's, a, it's a red. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, like, yeah like Olympus has fallen. Yeah. Twitter has fallen. Yeah, these guys and these guys also Mr. tweet like three thousand times a day. Comrade King, Twitter is fallen. We have lost the jewel crown of Comrade the Comrade King. I know, like they're fighting, like they're in the Terminator Salvation oh, movie. God, these people—they're on their phone, just wasting their entire life reading this horse shit from fucking losers. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah I mean, this they, shit makes so, me nauseous. So he's he's been tweeting away. He's fine. I guess I must have blocked him too because I haven't seen shit of his pop up. There, there is like, um, you know how you can mute words on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, there was a period of time where I could get canceled just for the words I've muted. If somebody <laughs> saw a list of that, <laughs> they just like seems yeah. to be quite a theme going on here. I blocked his ass again. <laughs> I'm back to the ocean. This is where I'm staying in 2023. Yeah, mm-hmm. you Fuck see, all you that. see the the new Little Mermaid swimming in yeah. the back. You there's get no, more pissed. There's no race in the ocean. Imagine giving a fuck about like George Santos and all this bullshit. Nobody sees color in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Devin. Right. Imagine, imagine being a guy getting mad at the Little Mermaid piece of shit movie. I want you to sell me this blue chew pill right here. Sell me this penis. You dick ain't hard. Here's this. Hey, yeah. Hey, go oh, ahead. Yeah. Go ahead real quick. Why don't you fuck me? It's what like, you? I can't. My dick isn't hard. <laughs> oh. There you go. Here's your pill. Have this pill. <laughs> now fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Sell me this penis. This can be in the ad, right? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, because you know what's awesome, Jace, Avery, and Devin James Costa? What's yeah. that? Yeah, what? This episode's sponsored by Blue Chew. Oh, shit. That does kick ass. I Let, fucking love that company. Let's talk about sex. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up. BlueChew.com. By the way, you see Jordan Peterson like shared what a trans penis looks like all over his timeline. He was upset about that. That's I think that's fantastic. I had never stuff. seen that before. That was it crazy. Is. Yeah. Anyway, back to the app. Yeah, back to Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. I mean, Jordan Peterson, he should just start linking like Pornhub like URLs at yep. some point. To be like, look at this. He's it's disgusting. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, back to the, anyway, back to back to the ad real quick. <laughs> uh, you can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. I didn't realize this. This is all online. You yeah, don't you have don't to have go to go to a doctor. doctor. You don't have to go to a doctor's office, have him look at your limp penis. Mm-hmm. It's t- totally discreet, too. Mm-hmm. Like, if you get it in the mail, it, discreet like, packaging. it shows up like it's like nothing. It's, yeah. Yep. yeah. They're, and they're made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. And your wife's going to love it. Or your girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Or, or your boyfriend. Or anybody. Or, or the lady you Boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Anybody you're with. Mm-hmm. Non-binary life partner, Anybody. they could love it too. Yep. Yeah. Or the uh, the the ghost you astral project into. Whatever you're into. Yeah. Whatever you want. Just get, finish the ad. <laughs> <laughs> Does it work? Don't think you need it. Try it free for a month and see. You're gonna love it. It works. You could be missing out on the best sex of your life. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived. They 
always say first impressions are important. What about lasting and impre- what about lasting impressions? That's very yeah. They say oh, there's yeah. nothing easier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help give you confidence where it counts. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free and you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. <laughs> promo code LEMON to receive your first month then free. take it seriously. <laughs> I will casino the fuck out of your knee right now. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring the podcast. Say their slogans more respectfully this time. Don't okay. do it in a, in that's a Blue Chew, question. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code LEMON to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Chew it and do it. Thank, Chew it and do it. Thank you, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. We love you. Thank you. We love you thank so much. It really much. works wonders. Thank you for sponsoring the podcast and making our dick super hard. Yeah. It's like the best of both worlds, man. It's thank you aw- so much, it's guys. so awesome. I only use it for good. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't use it for evil. I only use it no, for good. No, no, never. Ben, mm-hmm. stop with that. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, there we go. Bye, everybody. Bye. Back, back to back to the show. We're doing about stuff. God, I love this bottle. Well, God, this kicks ass. Look at this thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, the Jameson bottle. It's the most bottle. classic bottle of booze mm. that, ever. That bottle is designed to fall out of your pocket as you're getting into your car yes, to drive away. This is yep. me. I'm supposed to be talking with my, you know, my uh, partner at the at the police force, you know, about Avon Barksdale <laughs> taking over the town. <laughs> mm-hmm. Me, I'm talking about the, uh, she took right. the kids. Mm. It's great. And what then you're supposed bottle. to you just take one swig and then you throw it up in the air and try to yeah. shoot at it. And it falls on the window <laughs> of a car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, no, it just comes directly back down and hits you in the head and kills you. Mm-hmm. And that the is bull, true. And the bull you shot at ends up somehow hitting a black kid eight miles away. <laughs> oh, like a huge rainbow arc? Mm-hmm. Yeah. An eight mile long arc? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The police have designed bullets to just magically track black people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're like heat seeking missiles. That'd be funny, like a white guy in the three point contest and he just pulls out a gun and starts shooting at the rim. <laughs> he shatters the backboard yeah. by shooting it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's like, what do you think, I can jump? <laughs> Yeah, they're like, for the finals, we're giving Joe Kitch a gun. <laughs> he gets a gun, five bullets, his discretion, however he wants to use it. The gun them. could, like, propel him. Mm-hmm. Where he, like, he shoots, when he jumps, he shoots, and it, like, he can do, like, right, Har- right. Yeah. He can do, like Harlem yeah. Globetrotter shit. Yeah, that's, like, how he dunks. Yeah. 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 But just pop, 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 pop. You, you know yeah. that that uh, that classic Air uh, MJ like Air Jordan thing where yeah. he's yes. dunking from the free the lo- throw line. The logo, yeah. No. Can't every player do that now in the league? Pretty much. Yeah, that's why. There's I kids in high school that can do it. There's there's kids in Memphis on Beale Street that are doing. They're jumping <laughs> over all their friends right now. <laughs> yeah, so it's. It, but at but the time, nobody. It, it was could do cool that. then that he did it. Though. At the time, nobody could do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At the time, so the, no one even tried it before. Him. Also, got, no one had his charisma and his swagger. Like no one knew to like bend the legs midair, he looks then hot. stretch them. It's fucking sexy, and mm. every man on mm. earth will tell you that they secretly like that. Like gets them off. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, when he the entered, Air Jordan logo, when it's he, amazing. When he entered the league, like the greatest player of that time was like. Larry Bird, who had to put on like a back brace to fuck his wife. Yeah, Larry yeah. Bird was going to Home Depot and asking for back braces <laughs> before playing yeah. in the finals. Larry Bird did a, a fast break like he was John Wayne. <laughs> yeah, wiggling his hips so he wanted to shift a vertebrae out of his back. Yeah. yeah, Larry Larry Bird had a horse on the court. <laughs> He has like a neck brace. Yeah. Yeah. And Magic Johnson, who did run like your dad trying to, you know, like kick your ass or mm. something. Magic Johnson, incredible basketball player, but he shot his jump shot. You watch his jump shot, you go, you're a pussy. You're not. There's yeah. no way you could actually be considered that great. Yeah, he was yeah. like Bob Cousy it's out there. It's so lame, his jump shot. He, he developed a jump shot like near the end of his career. Yeah. It was still not that good. He's, but he's amazing. He's like top five. Different, different league. He's like top five all time. Yeah. Nah, he's top 10. Or he's top 10 all time. Uh, what's even more impressive about that, though, is he overcame something even harder than that, which was HIV. Like yeah. he, he, he didn't let HIV kill him. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were about to say having a gay son. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Do you guys see that picture of uh fucking well who's John Legend's wife? Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy oh, Chrissy, Teigen. Yeah. Have you guys seen that demented picture of her on the no. red carpet where her face is all bit? She looks like Magic Johnson's kid. That's great. It's I this, love that. She's got like big like plastic surgery gay face. It's kind of amazing. I I mean I haven't seen that, but I love Magic Johnson's kid just because he always looks like a gay Mr. Potato Head yeah. showing up. <laughs> And you know Magic Johnson feels like he made him gay by like those couple nights that he had with whoever that he caught AIDS from. Yeah, he's like, this is my this yeah. is my punishment. Yeah, my divine karma. Uh, that's yeah, I mean, look oh, at it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Holy yeah. shit. Well, that's what's great about the new era is that these guys have to have kids that are like trans and shit now. So it's like it's it's kind of beautiful to watch them be forced to deal with with. You know, yeah, in the media spotlight with the wow. with the with the involvement of you know whatever. Mm -hmm. That's wild. I mean, Dwayne Wade's like whole family's gay and shit. <laughs> like every video Dwayne Wade takes, there's like one of his kids in the back, like fucking just like injecting himself with hormones <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, Dwayne Wade's like having to proudly announce, like my wife is pegging me now, so <laughs> I'm proudly. He's like going on and like arguing with Skip Bayless about getting pegged by his wife. <laughs> So he's having to argue with Stephen A. Smith about having yeah. gay sex. I thought what his kid did was absolutely deplorable. <laughs> you fucking man in the ass now. Like, that is not alpha. So his kid's trans. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. That is transphobic. You telling me that's a man, Skip? <laughs> is that what you telling me right now? First off, I thought his outfit was incredibly drab. <laughs> <laughs> he's more, into he's, more yeah, he's like yeah. gay. Yeah. Personally, I thought that was a repeat of early '90s he's fashion. Like, Who wears fuchsia on the red carpet? <laughs> mm -hmm. It mixes up with the red carpet in the background. You do not pop. It is funny to be like, all right, all right. I'm gonna, uh, I'll give you a million dollars. Tell me which one of these two people has AIDS. <laughs> His son. <laughs> <laughs> His son is dressing like Magic Johnson did like in that famous picture walking down the hallway with like Jack Nicholson and Mike Tyson and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. His son is dressing like that, but like if he was walking into like the fucking like the AIDS finals. <laughs> AIDS finals. The NBA AIDS finals. NBA AIDS finals. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're such hor I'm horrible. Yeah, we're horrible people. I'm hor I know that that was whatever. I'm sorry. It's a joke. Hold Give on, the I'm, shit. I'm looking at this photo because I, I forgot how fucking sick this was. Fuck, that was so cool. What a picture. Yeah. That God ruled. damn. That, dude, that's us. Eddie Murphy's right there. He's like, I hope no faggots are touching my ass. <laughs> yeah, and then calling a trans prostitute <laughs> yeah, right like, after the game. Wait, so that's... Is, this is, you know Eddie Murphy fucked Prince after this. Oh, oh for sure. Yeah. He thought, that was like a, he thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> this almost looks like a painting. No, this all, this picture always felt fake to me, and I'm pretty sure it's 100% real. So it's Prince, Eddie Murphy, Jack Nicholson, Magic Johnson, Mike Tyson. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck that Madonna. bitch is. This Madonna. Is, oh, it's Madonna, and then this Michael is like, Jackson. You know those those paintings where it's hmm. like the Sopranos and the Godfather? Yeah. All at like one. Like this is the version of that for people who like black yes. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is one of those pictures of all, these, all the dogs like at the Last Supper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know how crazy the picture is? Michael Jackson's in the fucking back. Yes. God. Michael Jackson's more famous than everybody there. Oh, for sure. And he's in the back. Did you see did you see Nicholson at the at the at the conference yeah, finals? Yeah, yeah. He looked great. I don't like everyone shitting on how he looks. It looks like a fucking old guy that like gets pussy and smokes cigarettes in the ocean. <laughs> don't people know what he does? That is like, smoke cigarettes underwater. Yeah. That is, you're you're very right because that's just a natural hater. I'd be like, ha ha, he's gay. It's like he's just he's getting sucked off by a model that night. Yeah, like yeah. what? You're yeah. not 87 he's and get, getting sucked off. He's getting pussy. If I ever got it, I would I would blow my brains out at the shock, like the sheer magnitude of getting that type of pussy. I know. I know. He does look crazy. He, this makes me miss drinking a lot because I feel like I would dress like this if I if I started drinking again. Yeah, this is this is this is just all coke. This is cocaine. Yeah, right yeah, here. but he has a little thing that Devin has right there in his hand. But it's full of cocaine. <laughs> he has that's <laughs> liquid cocaine. Yeah. cocaine. He has he has a he has a flask full of cocaine. <laughs> God, he that sprinkles rules. out on what a picture, man. Caesar's Palace. It's it's us. Wait, it's wait, lemon wait. party. But why is this? Is this picture real? Why is Magic Johnson at Caesar's Palace? The front is. Are they going to a? They're not going to a Tyson fight. 
What fight are they going to? To like, me, this photo looks fake and it looks gay, where, like wh- fake and gay. Why like it's is not this? Real. Why? Wh- wh- first off, why are they there? What fight is this for? Because I thought they would be there for a Tyson fight, but Tyson's in the picture. In, oh, it seems like this suit. was a this was they a were promoting match. Teddy Riley versus Babyface with a photo oh. in which Mike Tyson is taller than Magic Johnson. Should have told you things would go wrong. I don't know what that means. I don't know what what was the outcome of the fight, but yeah. I dude, it probably this is someone just that touched it up because it probably looked shitty. They probably made it. That's an incredible photo. That's mm-hmm. like that's that's like better than like the Iwo Jima like putting the flag down photo. <laughs> yeah, way cooler. That's the modern version. And when you were talking about like the Air Jordan logo, it's like, you know, like I'm anti whatever. I don't I don't believe like that capitalism should rule everything. But there are times where I look at the moon at night and I go, that would be cool if the Air Jordan logo was on that. It would, yeah. Just do it. Put I, the Pepsi logo on I there too. Always, I really, I kind of like. I yeah, kind of it, love corporations. Make that it look are great. Like, yeah, make it look like NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. Put some shit on it. Make it look like like Jeff Gordon's jacket. Yeah. We'll put Pepsi on there. We're like, hey, China, I dare you. Fucking go up there. <laughs> exactly. You, you'd you conquer it, bitch. <laughs> See what yeah. You know they would because they'd be like, there's a black guy on the moon. <laughs> they invade it. They invade yeah. the moon. They think it's like a, a, a Uyghur, one of the Muslims. <laughs> so they have to invade the moon. Yeah, they go to the moon. They, like, they just paint their faces black like Kobe's. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, he's rough, but he looks awesome. He dude. looks like one of my birds. <laughs> Imagine your hair turns in. <laughs> he really does. That looks like Nacho, my big fat California Toey. He looks like I've been feeding him all day. <laughs> yeah, Mike, your birds. Your birds do look like they eat chili. <laughs> Dude, my birds look like this. They look fucked up. Yeah. They didn't look like that when I first started feeding All them. All your birds look like they love biscuits and gravy from Denny's <laughs> from the 246 <laughs> menu. Yeah. Oh, his son oh, looks like AJ Soprano. I beat I don't mean to. I'm not I'm not yeah, bragging. Can you air this business out or No, yeah, I can. I mean, I, I don't have a relationship with the guy. Ray Nicholson, it was me and him uh, up uh, for this movie that I did that uh, I guess will come out this year at some point. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon it was. <laughs> yeah. uh, but the, his kid was the guy I beat out, and his kid, thank God his kid is talentless. Yeah, because he would have totally taken uh, it. He would have gotten it immediately, but his, his kid, the, the, I, he, they, they sent me his audition tape, and I was mm-hmm. like, man, that is bad. Hell yeah! Yeah, this, I mean, he looks like he just came, like he just got his hair off. is turning into the devil horns. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the mommy of Ray? Yeah, I don't know. Fucking probably the the woman the, the fucking Roman Polanski yeah. raped. Yeah, Show I don't wing. Know. yeah right. Roman Polanski's hot tub. Better, better. Nice and very good. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know who. I mean, who? He, Nicholson doesn't even know who the fucking kid's uh, mom is. <laughs> right? Doesn't it just show up one day? Jack. Nicholson. Time in raid. I also beat out Mick Jagger's child. Jesus. For, for the role. Really? But, but yeah, thankfully Lord. for me, like Rich, the the kids of the children of of extremely famous people are like usually very talentless. So I I got it. But well, that's her right there, Ben. Rebecca Bruce. Well, no, he has six kids, so. Uh, hold on. Maybe maybe it is her. Oh yeah, it's Rebecca Broussard. Yeah, fuck her. Wait, is it? Is, so he really did want to fuck ladies Look like at her in a, like the waitress from. Uh... Look at that relaxed pill face. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. Fucking just just just. She can let that cock slide right just in her mouth. Pouring prescription pills into a fucking blender. <laughs> Yeah, she's like in a the Vitamix morning. in it's her. A, yeah. Her throat's a fucking Vitamix. It's kale and a, <laughs> and whatever my doctor prescribed. Yeah. Drinking a martini, but the olives replaced with a big horse tranquilizer. <laughs> Just a gigantic pill you can barely swallow with a toothpick through it. Nice. The, the Nicholson family kicks ass. And you know what was so sweet about beating out Ray? What's that? Nicholson. Yeah, what's that, Devin? Was the fact that literally it was so bizarre when I found out that he was my competition because I was like, I was a child. I was literally a child and I would watch Laker games and I, my whole family can attest to this. I would scream at any kid courtside because I was like, you don't deserve this. Like, I'd be like nine years old. Like, Fuck you, you yeah. don't deserve it. Out of the womb, you were better. I was so angry <laughs> out of the fucking womb. And for like a decade, I watched Ray Nicholson next to Jack, like get to go to all the games that I like, you know, wished I could go to and then I, I fucking beat him for a Hey, one day 
Devin Costa is gonna kick your ass, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you see that Ray with your fucking what is your what is with that gay Amish outfit they put you in? What is that? Why did they put him in that? They, I don't know. He looks. What is he? A little chef? <laughs> yeah, they they, they wanted to grow like, up to become Chef Boradie. I think that's like your first confirmation thing where they have to dress you like a oh yeah. yeah. They I turn think, you into Chef Boyardee. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a little gay chef. And then Interesting. You get, you get baptized by a pedophile network. <laughs> <laughs> the network, yeah. the network, the baptizes network baptizes you. Baptizes you. Yeah, I did see something that really made me that really made me laugh. Was like a there was like a Catholic League Twitter account that like retweeted some E. Miles Chong thing about mm-hmm. like trans legislation, and it was like we have to protect kids from like grooming. It was from the like vote Catholic like Twitter. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. have to protect kids. Yeah. Yeah. They're like save them for us. Well, do you guys know about that? Dodge. Dodge. The Dodgers organization is in hot water because um, we talk, uh, They had a pride uh, night. Sisters of Transparent Indulgence. Love I think that they're show. called. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I love it too. I love it too. I love when the kids have to take it. Um. <laughs> But the, apparently there's this there's this drag queen group that the Dodgers hired to come and well, well, yeah they have Pride Night and all these people Pride come night. and it's like the sisters of I think it's the sisters of perpetual indulgence perpetual indulgence and yeah. they're they're a gay group where they dress like nuns, nuns and priests but they like they make it all gay and a lot of people were upset at that because a lot of Dodgers fans are Catholic families mm-hmm. and we don't want to watch like you know drag queens like mock Catholicism or whatever so there was a big up uproar and then they canceled it. And then just like yesterday, the Dodgers were like, okay, all right, we're 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 not hateful. We're mm-hmm. letting them in. So th- we should go to that night. Yeah, it's a pride night at the to Dodgers. To pride night at the Dodgers? Do you know how many fucking guys, you know how many guys named Edward that have like <laughs> LA tattooed on their forehead yeah. are going to be like screaming at drag queens dressed like nuns? Mm. That's yeah. going to kick ass. No, the well, guys in t- that field and falling down, those types of guys. Yeah. 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 Yeah, guys from oh, yeah. guys from guys from Mexican guys from movies about white rage yeah. will be there. <laughs> that one guy, that one guy who was the Mexican in every movie for forty years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the shaved head, the Bruce Almighty guy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He's just coming up. He's like, "Yo, I was hired to like fuck up gay people tonight." <laughs> Hopefully, Danny Trejo well, rides a horse into the stadium, right. like well, leading the like it's the return of the king. Yeah. Well, I said this on Hey Watch one time, but for Dodger Pride Night, they just don't let Mexicans go to the game. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what makes it pride. Yeah. That's, that's a security check. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dodger pride. We're going to blow up Chavez Ravine again. <laughs> that's the thing that allowed white people to get to work faster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, no, no. Chavez Ravine is where they built Dodger Stadium, and they they blew. They, uh, they just, just. You also told me they blew up a bunch of like Mexican people's they, homes. They blew the, up Highland Park so they could put the one ten there, which is like a go kart freeway, so all these rich white guys yeah. could just like hop in their like Model Ts and just like fly <laughs> to work. That's where I got in a wreck. That's where the motorcyclist yeah. hit me, and I got in a four year oh, lawsuit with. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Because that was a crazy period of your life. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I was. Uh, I happened to have not have been drinking at work. Yeah, and I was going to see our friend yeah. Clay. It was the one day you weren't drinking and driving, dude. Weirdly. Yeah, I that's know. why you hit him. That's why you hit him. Yeah. yeah, you didn't have your faculty. <laughs> you were off. <laughs> I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah. You're like I'm ah, like Ray Liotta. Yeah, and, and fucking. You're like ah, my fellas. My pregame routine's off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't drive. Your brain probably was working at a slower yeah. level because you were recovering. You had like from... a bre- you had like an opposite breathalyzer in your car. Yeah, it could only start if you were fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh the motorcycle there's weird gray like uh gray zones in uh california for motorcyclists where they can lane split but no one's really sure if they can mm-hmm. do it but regardless like they if, can like they can kind of drive like tron but not at the same yeah, time it's, yeah, yeah it's weird line rider shit it's complete bullshit by the way i'll attest to that i almost hit a motorcycle as every they day. do this all the time they fly through your middle lane you're in like like you'll like, be in standstill traffic standstill and traffic. a guy will pass you going 80 like yep. between the lanes yep they're in, they have no right i mean you, you should be able to hit them honestly. they die constantly they die all the mm-hmm. time and then the ones that live have yeah. all these lawyers set up and California, where then they sue the ever loving fuck out yeah. of the person that mm-hmm. happened to, you know, be changing lanes slowly as this person's breaking the speed limit. Yep. And but lane splitting and it's 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 on you and you gotta pay them 
way past what your insurance yeah, paid but there's out. like there's like 10 lawyers who love motorcycles they like drive a motorcycle into the court yeah probably. Exactly. Yeah. You know. P- having a leather jacket over their suit mm-hmm. so you just didn't see one of these fucks flying by yeah. you and you mildly I was changing hit him. i was changing lanes and he he was speeding and he was passing me on the right hand side which if, if which you're a motorcyclist not, yeah. you know you're not supposed to do that shit yep. and he went and he hit my rear view mirror and that was and i swerved back immediately and he kept going, but he's one of these. He's one of these. So he never even fell. Well, he's one of these fuckers where they they get like these like crotch rockets, and they drive really fast, but they don't really know how to ride a motorcycle. Right. So he kept going, and he was spooked from coming in contact with my rearview mirror. And he fell. On and his he kept own. he kept going for like maybe seven more seconds, and then started. Clearly, he was shaking up. He started. Yeah, he started doing- like. <laughs> And yeah. then he laid it down on He's, the freeway. He started doing the eight-year-old going too fast on his bike move. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That I gay didn't move. know this. I thought you actually hit him off his bike. I technically did because no, then he kept didn't. going. Well, he kept he going straight fine. and then he got scared. If you had a Tesla, you could have been pro- you could have proved this with all those cameras. Uh, unfortunately, I was in my Prius where the, the car doors were like missing. <laughs> Yeah, you unfortunately did, you, hit something in my car also, that yeah. wasn't missing you yeah. had to blow up the car because there was a pack of there was like 400 ipas in the trunk <laughs> your car your car by the it was like the end of tommy boy that you were driving around yeah the, it, it was a hybrid that was so fucked up it like took gas by fuck. the end it was the saul goodman car <laughs> yeah i never knew the guy fell on his own accord yes yes yeah, yeah that yeah. is such fucking god it makes me angry for you so i pulled over and all what is it? Five lanes of the freeway are yeah. stopped, and it's all my fucking fault. And I get out. And he also wasn't wearing his his gloves, right? Wasn't like wearing to... gloves, so totally so he, tore his he hands. He slid up. and just like lost Fucked like his the hands. top. He slid of his for so long. I just watched him just slide across the pavement. Did they account for that in court or in the settlement or whatever? This motherfucker. Well, first of all, I get. I like run over to him and I don't know what to do. And I'm just praying that he's, I'm like, please start moving. Please like, don't be paralyzed. And I have to mm-hmm. forever know. Cause I knew he was alive, but I was like, if you're fucking paralyzed, dude, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's all yeah. these trauma by the way, groups that meet up by the way, for people that accidentally kill motorcyclists, even though it's not right. their fault, but you, and it haunts them for the rest of their life. Here's the thing. So it's not just you being, you know, a, a, a retard. I'm kidding slightly. Mm. I would have felt no guilt. <laughs> If I looked at him in my rear view and I'm like, he's fine, he hit my side mirror, and now he's still driving fine. Yes. And then he got all like intimidated in his Mm -hmm. head and did it. I'd be like, well, I didn't do it, dude. You were on your bike fine. Dude, by the end of it, I wished I would have killed him. (laughs) I hated him by the end of the 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 four years of of, uh, like talking to lawyers. Because they were insane, weren't they? They like never stopped with you. They asked, I think they initially asked for like, like a hundred eighty thousand dollars or something. Well, yeah, he was. And he so was this like, is what he said. He said he had a backpack and his photography camera. He was a fucking Silver Lake prick with a Macklemore haircut. Uh huh. He claimed his photography business was now ruined because his camera, his camera lens cracked. Yeah, in his backpack. You can buy another camera, dipshit. Yeah, no shit. Is, oh, what is your dream end with a purchase, retard? Well, he's cosplaying as, as a. He doesn't. If you live in Silver Lake as a photographer, that's not a job. Yeah, it's that's bullshit. a hobby. You know what that means? He takes pictures of like tree limbs, mm-hmm. and he thinks he's an artist. Exactly. That's what he does. But he probably does his rich friend's weddings sometimes, so he technically right. like has an LLC or some bullshit. Sure, exactly. No yeah. one makes a living as a photographer in Silver Lake except for like maybe Lance Bangs and I, I don't know, maybe there's two other people. Yeah. Right, the, whatever. The, the levels of photography are like you sell stuff in a coffee shop uh-huh. or you're fucking Richard, like Deacons, you know? Yeah. Like you're shooting for the color. And everyone brothers. else is just suing me for uh, like 200 grand. So uh, Jesus, how'd you get that down? What happened? They they uh, they got access to my accounts and they saw I had like like two thousand dollars in my savings account. They can get access to your bank account. Like you can give that stuff to them to see your pay stubs. And I'm like, I'm making minimum wage at a dog food store. I'm making at the time I think it was twelve fifty an hour, and I'm working you know forty hours a week. And uh, yeah, it was, it was yeah, funny. Like, the, I have no money. The guy was like, "I'm suing you for everything you're worth." And it's like four dollars. Yeah, like if he won mm. the case, you would just reach into your billfold and hand him the money. Yeah, yeah. they were like, "We're taking your crockpot." <laughs> <laughs> Once they saw how much money I had, then they then they brought it down to like twenty five thousand, and then they were hoping 
that I got scared and I'd run to my like they were hoping I had uh, rich relatives that I go to and get money from them. Yeah, it was just like a shakedown type yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. And then eventually they brought it down to, I think I ended up having to pay them $2,800. But on top of it, in the agreement, he made me promise that I would write him a handwritten two-page apology letter. Oh, my for God. Hitting him. It's I, like Kobe's accuser. It. And it's the only reason, it's the only way he would take the money I had to, like, he, he, like, he cucked me. He cucked, and I did like I did it with like a pencil on like a yeah on like a, a, a what's that paper uh, the the yellow paper the, the, like the yellow legal pad bullshit paper <laughs> folded it up and on like a gave pencil. it to a lawyer yeah, yeah half of it was like you couldn't read it mm-hmm. by the time right. he got yeah. it yeah. Yeah. rub Good. your rub your balls all over it <laughs> yeah. just fucking fart into it for a week dude yeah. I wanted to sign it fucking Daffy Duck <laughs> fuck you I I <sighs> what they ultimately what did you ultimately settle for. Like, it was 20, like, 20, like 2800 bucks in that letter. He wanted the letter on top of it of me apologizing for what I did to him. And by the way, when he took his helmet off, he was screaming like a bitch on the side of the freeway. He's going, ah, ah. And then some other guy leans down because I'm frozen. And I'm like, fuck, he's only moving his head. And But then he took the helmet off. He took his helmet off. I'm like, all right. He's like, and then he started moving his legs. I'm like, okay, he's not paralyzed. Yeah. He kept going, ah. And then he said to the guy, he's like, he goes, I, I get my cell phone. He goes, I need to call my girlfriend. Ah, ah. <laughs> and so like he calls his girlfriend. He's like, baby, he baby, me. I'm going to hit my car. Ah, He's like, ah, fuck. <laughs> oh and he was God. like all torn up oh on his God. jeans and shit. And there were blood all over Give his Give me my legs. cell phone. He pulls it out. <laughs> he punches the number and he goes, baby, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay as hell. Give me seven. Yeah, I'm a fag. I'm so fucking gay. <laughs> I'm a gay one, baby. I got hit, <laughs> but I, no, I can't. No, I didn't hit. Me. I didn't hit the floor after he hit me. I stayed on the bike for about 15 seconds, but then I got nervous uh, in my head. Uh, I did it to myself uh, in my head. I slid like a hockey puck. <laughs> I crashed the grab and I wasn't wearing gloves because I'm a fucking Silver Lake retard. <laughs> Fuck. And when he took the helmet off and I saw he had the Macklemore haircut, mm-hmm. I like wanted to c- curb stomp him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, God But his legs damn were all it. covered in blood and stuff. And then right, right. They, they came and they scrapes. put him in a thing. Some scrapes. Yeah. A couple scrapes. Some knee scrapes. We've all and, gotten knee scrapes. And I thought the uh, police, because fire trucks showed up, police, uh, all traffic was held up for probably 30 minutes. And everyone's fucking like trying to figure out. Yeah. Like, because you just see that like brave heart row of cars that are mm. just waiting yeah, like, yeah. Like, oh they yeah just wanna, all wanna, <laughs> oh yeah they all want to fucking kill i was you. i was probably in that traffic jam pissed <laughs> off and then i get up and i go god i finally get there i'm like god damn it ben did you not drink today <laughs> fuck <laughs> this always happens when you sober drive dude the cops didn't even look me in the eye to see if i was drunk or not they yeah. were just like which one of you guys hit him and then like they all pointed at me like all because four people had got out of their car and then they just came over and they go okay well he just like looked at a clipboard and he yeah. like he just kept i remember him, i was really fucked up over it because i thought i killed i thought i didn't know if he was gonna die i didn't know if he might right not have a he might have a thing where he like can't walk anymore yeah, you're, you're nervous yeah you i'm feel so bad. nervous and also i couldn't believe i wasn't dr- i it was like a huge wake-up call because i wasn't drinking and driving for the first time in like i don't know seven or eight years i just i didn't i luckily i wasn't drinking at work i wasn't going from a party to a bar or something like that just happened i was leaving from work and i was gonna go get fucked up in a park with clay we were gonna get four uh two 40 ounce like oes and go drink in a park and throw up on each other did you tell anybody that like you hit him but then he stayed upright and then fell like 15 seconds later did you even have that in you no uh, yeah i told the lawyer i told the cop and i was like and he was he admitted the speeding like he told the fire i go he told you guys saw he's told the firefighters because they asked him how fast he was going he told them he was breaking the speed limit and the oh cop was that's like, good of him but it doesn't matter the cop just like kept like clicking the pin and just being fat right with a big clipboard on did his, you still on get his paunch here's the real question yeah did you still get fucked up at the park 
No, I went home. Oh, no. And I got, I, I think I got in a fight with Katie because I was really stressed. So I'm probably just scream, stress yelling, like being a fucking asshole. Yeah. And then I walked, I think I walked to a convenience store because I didn't want to drive. That's kind of when my fear of driving started happening. I went walked to a convenience store and I got like bags of forties. Nice. I was just drinking one, walking right. under the overpass you were, on the way. You were still way home. You were still consoling yourself, but you're still doing like Edward Forty hands, yeah. but just alone by yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's like your Don Draper moments. You still pull out duct tape and you're taping. And he's like, no, the, "What? What have I become?" No, imagine Willie Loman comes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Willie Loman comes home from work. He opens his suitcase and pulls out a beer bong. Yeah, and he's like, "Can you hold this for me, bro?" But you're still you're playing like. Johnny Cash, the American recordings. <laughs> you're like, when the man comes around. And you're just like... <laughs> and then just like fucking duct taping huge 40 ounces to my hands. Mm-hmm. Just crying. And you're like, don't talk to me right now. I need to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be Playing alone. Edward 40 hands yeah. alone. Getting too fucked up and having to piss with the... With mm. the just holding your cock with the bottles. Because you can't get them off, so you're just squishing your dick between two glass jars. Yeah. Oh God, that's so stressful right. to even hear about. And Ben, though. I mean, it did like wreck the like next like it was a huge weight. Yeah, that it was a huge like, weight. Yeah. I got sober three months later. Yeah, it was a huge it was a huge thing for me because I thought I was like fuck if I was fucked up that's my my life it's my whole everything like, especially like if I was fucked up and that guy died that's like federal that's it's federal prison right. Yeah, that would be basically like manslaughter. Yeah, yeah. then because uh, we uh, we knew someone that if you was were drunk. drunk what be- if you weren't drunk and he died? <sighs> I mean, maybe I my, maybe I, involuntary or something. I don't know. Because it was still this guy's fault. I see myself like going down a route where I dr- I'm just I never stop drinking, and I just I push everyone away and destroy my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'd be doing this podcast through a phone yeah. while you're in prison. I don't know, buddy. <laughs> You're yeah. still producing it's, it. I'm still producing it yeah. from. You're producing it like prison style, yeah. like with a paper clip <laughs> and like a string. Yeah. I just want you to know personally, uh-huh. there was never anything you could have done to push me away. Wow, thank you. Just personally. I could see you having that moment with me uh, in like uh, uh, Goodwill Hunting where yeah. you're like, tell- you're telling me it's it's not my fault. And yeah, I'm crying because it wasn't, and I didn't see it. So mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I'm with my friend, and I'm gonna go with not seeing it. Right, he's fine. He didn't do anything, and I would have showed up at your fucking. I would have been recording the podcast through a fucking through glass mm-hmm. with you. Thank you, brother. I would have showed up, brother. Wish I could have yeah. been there, brother. Brother, I wish I could have been there. Wish you were there, brother. Yeah. <laughs> I got, sure this ultimately turned into like, wish you were in prison, brother. <laughs> Yeah, just showing up to visit you, and you've got like you've had to join the Aryan Brotherhood. <laughs> you're all tatted up yeah, to your fucking you're like, neck, dude. Did you have to become a Nazi? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I, ha- yeah. I had to. Oh yeah, dude, I totally oh, had these, to. These tattoos, yeah. I just got them. <laughs> dude. I haven't had these for years. The guard leans in. He goes, he's literally the only neo-Nazi right. in the prison. You get to br- you get to prison. You're like, all right, where's my brothers at? And they're like, this is. We don't do that here. <laughs> it's just like a thing in movies. Right. You're trying to start an Aryan Brotherhood like it's a union at a Starbucks. You're talking. You're talking to guys. You're talking to guys. You're like, sure, would be nice if me and a couple of like-minded individuals started a kind of a club, if you will. And they're like, dude, that's disgusting. I'm fucking getting out of here in five years. <laughs> dude, that's disgusting. <laughs> just guys going, get your fucking life together, yeah. dude. Dude, what the hell? We're all in here for tax evasion. What are you doing? <laughs> just a guy immediately giving himself swastikas. Mm-hmm. Like the yeah, moment. Pre- preemptively, because he thinks yeah. he has to survive no, prison. On the bus, on the way to the jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The guy that goes to prison to guilt, to get the swastika tattoos guilt free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm hmm. Well, Man, I, what a crazy time. Yeah, it was. You were dealing with that for so fucking long. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah, it fucked me up. Fuck. But I'm also like a pussy and uh, stuff like that can fuck me up. What I, did What did you do? You didn't, you didn't act like a... I, I would have been just as stressed as you if like somebody sent me like, you owe me $180,000. Yeah, well, I mean like... It, I don't know. I'm just like a sensitive weirdo. I can get, I can get weird about stuff where I'm like... I think, or, you're, I think or, you're just describing human emotions. Yeah, you're just really. being. You were yeah. a human, no, you were a human being. It's about to an unhealthy it. level where, like, you're that guy in high school who, like, a girl broke up with you three years ago, and you're still like fucked up really bad over it every night. Are you saying you, this because you withheld information that would have helped you in the case? 
like, from from what? Wait, what? Are you saying that you're? I didn't do pussy? like a Jimmy McGill. Thing. No, but I'm it saying it was a did, normal did case. You, I know, but I'm saying, do you feel like you're a pussy because there was a couple things you could have like said that like would have helped you, but you would have looked like a bad guy for for if you're saying like he was happened. speeding, yeah. he was changing lanes. No, no, I totally said that because yeah. once they once they hit me with a bill for like two hundred fifty thousand dollars or whatever it was, I immediately was like he was speeding. Like, and my all my police reports said this, so mm-hmm. I right. didn't I didn't say anything. Well, you ultimately actually got out of it like pretty fine yeah you can get out of any lawsuit it turns out if you just don't have money yeah yeah truly but what they can do is garnish your wages Mm -hmm. which luckily that didn't happen they did give you like one of the lawyers like the black kids get in like the wire basically yeah yeah you got like the public da guy yeah i got the guy getting the coffee from the vending machine Mm -hmm. with the quarters you got the guy with the mustard stains on his shirt Mm -hmm. yeah who like has a corolla yeah Yeah. a suit he got from his dad that's way too big for him (laughs) yeah he's got shoes that he looks like a like a kid wearing his dad's suit (laughs) while his parents are out of town he looks like a maitre d yeah he's flopping around size 12 Mm -hmm. fucking yeah wing step insoles so that yeah whatever my cousin Vinny got you out of it yeah yeah and and the day was saved. Damn that 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 you know that story stressed me out for years. Well, it took like four years to solve. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was, it it was, was like back every and forth year forever. of your life. I was like, what's going on with that case? I kept having big meetings yeah. and conference rooms and stuff, and I kept I would like stand up. I had this like I'm mad as hell, not going to take it anymore. Moments where I'm like, I don't have any money. Nothing is changing. He can stretch this out as long as he wants. I'm a loser. Yeah. I will never make money. I make no money. Right, right, right. Mm. I work at a dog food store yeah. when I hit him. Now I drive Uber. The lawsuit affected how you think of your future. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I can't you're like, I can't make money for at least the next you five were, years. You yeah. were telling everybody, like, guys, I plan on being a huge loser. Yeah. Go away. At 27, I'm killing myself. <laughs> I've already made this agreement a long time ago. I remember driving with you to an open mic. Mm-hmm. Like a month or two after it happened, and you, I think you're like, yeah, I don't know, like it wasn't really my fault, honestly. He was speeding and he hit my side mirror, but I, we'll see what happens. And then you pull a IPA out for <laughs> while you're driving, probably. I think we were going to the Ice House open mic. You start, I pull it like it's like a magician where I pull yeah. a beer and it keeps coming. Like it was it's amazing. Like, it's like a hundred. It was ounces. like a never-ending <laughs> flag or something you had. Yeah. yeah, you've you've taped two tall boys together and cut the holes out of the. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom and the top to create like a super tall boy. Yeah. Now I remember for four years you'd be like really stressed about. It. I'm like, ah, don't worry, it'll work itself out. And then I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> be like, Ey. and then I really you think that? I thought the same way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben would tell me about. It. I'd be like, oh, boy, man, no, you'll be fine. And yeah. I'd go home and be like, he's fucked. <laughs> mm. Yeah, literally the same. <laughs> like I really didn't know how you were gonna get out of that. That that weird thing that followed me because I started hating driving after that. And I was scared all the time in the car, and like now it's to the point where I every time I get in a car, it's like uh, the first time I got on a plane where I just I think I'm gonna die every three I, seconds. I get that. Yeah, I mean, well, it, there's a lot of stress with being in a car accident. <laughs> but you didn't weren't even in like a typical car accident. This guy was a fucking retard. Yeah, he was, he he hit was a your di- side man. He was an LA dipshit. He's a fucking moron. He, fucking, he's a guy ruining your neighborhood. He was a girl's character. Mm-hmm. Yes, Adam like, Driver. He was like yeah. one of those guys, yeah. like in his motorcycle phase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, getting yeah. a motorcycle at like thirty-seven. Yeah, to impress his girlfriend, who's probably seventeen. Exactly. You know, you know those guys have motorcycles for like literally four months, and then they lay it down with something like that, and then they never ride motorcycles again. Yeah. Here's the thing: is if you drive a motorcycle, you will die on the motorcycle. Mm. Yeah. Like when you're getting your license, they're like, "By the way, just to let you know, your head will turn into sushi at some <laughs> yeah. point." They, they say it's like it's literally but like guys practice their laydowns because yeah, they yeah. know they're going to get right. them. You, you know the phrase is it's not how you lay it down it's when or yeah. it's not when you lay down it's, it's how or something how yeah it's but that something like that more meaning proper. that if you drive a motorcycle there's a hundred percent chance yeah. you will lay down if you your drive motorcycle a motorcycle you should have to legally change your name to organ donor <laughs> you should be called organ donor number eighteen. Yeah. My, you should be forced to carry like an igloo with ice around with yeah. you, so mm-hmm. they can just like just rip them out and dump them in. Every every person that drives a motorcycle is just the reason for somebody that has like needs a kidney replacement. Yeah. <laughs> that person's like, why do I crave fries all of a sudden? <laughs> I would like to clarify the difference between city drivers and then touring bike guys who just like go up 
like a, f- a freeway in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, like they different. go to like to Canada. No, and back. you were on a massive highway of people going 65, 70 miles you per hour. You call it the and Mario I, Kart speedway. It's Mario Kart guys. Yeah, it's yeah. Ra- it's Rainbow by Road. You. Mm-hmm. It's literally it's, it was a highway designed in the nineteen ten, so it yeah. was designed for Model T's. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And for, then you just have to drive next to an eighteen wheeler down. Exactly. For pe- I took it today. It's horrifying. It's a it's horrific terrifying. freeway for people that are unaware of the street we're talking about. It's called the one ten. It goes mm-hmm. through Pasadena. It's two fucking lanes, and to get on on it you have to it's a stop sign yes it's a yeah. stop Literally, sign to you get have to, to get on it and to get off it and too. to get off it but to get on it you have to keep looking and there's cars flying 70 Just, miles ew. per hour by you and you have to go i think he's far away enough <laughs> and you hit but they're it. also coming around bends so it's, it's insane. Really the windy. amount of times you're at the stop so you're like okay i'm good and then you realize you're way not good <laughs> yeah yep. and someone so, slams so you're in like your 07 race. corolla and you just have to like <laughs> and then like the car's shaking and sh- like it's like you're taking off from earth you see your car go yep. fuck yeah <laughs> fuck I'm trying. <laughs> your car's like you. Afterwards, your car's like I have three more of these yeah, left yeah. in me. In your my car's life. vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that freeway. Yeah, it's a terrible freeway. Oh man, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Thank you, Devin. You're very. You care about me more than I do, and I appreciate that. Well, you 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 know you were hanging out with me for years on end, and you kept. I was like, it's not over yet. I was mm. like, what the fuck? I was like, what you do? I didn't know you guys both thought I was like a, a goner. Oh yeah, I had many conversations <laughs> I kinda, where I'm. Yeah. I had many conversations where I'm like, well, Ben's going to jail, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out what happens to his wife. I was pretty afraid of it. Yeah. yeah, I think I texted Jace a few times personally about it, and we were just both like, "Yeah, it's in God's hands." <laughs> That's a good. Hey, yeah, we, dude, it was literally. We thought you were such a goner. We became yeah. Catholic about it. <laughs> we're like, "Well, you know, may he go in God." We were making one of those bike memorials for your life. Yeah. <laughs> We were gonna, we were gonna set up a bike and Mexican candles on the side mm. of the highway, but just for your potential gone. <laughs> From your entire life. It was scary. Yeah, I started looking up things on the internet where I go, oh, they can just garnish your wages like in, in perpetuity until you pay off the $250,000 in damages. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, that's... And in my head, I go, that's going to take me like 47 years to pay <laughs> off. I was like, so I make $12,000 a year now. I'm like, yeah. Who was your lawyer? Off. Who'd you get as your lawyer? They assigned me a guy through my insurance. Oh, you insurance. just took a guy? Through my insurance. Yeah, they provide you one. They gave you Chris Paul. <laughs> <laughs> they just threw, uh, through USAA, they gave me a guy. And okay. He seen, and then, but the thing took takes so long, and then people also come and go that you keep getting traded off to a new guy. Right. And then he's also like, tell me about your situation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You, you're you constantly me- just catching up lawyers right. who don't give a fuck. Yeah, you have to meet him and be like, you're representing me. He's like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> let me check this file of people's <laughs> lives that are going in. Yeah. Get about to get ruined. Yeah. I have a dossier of people whose lives have been ruined, and I don't know any of their <laughs> yeah. names. Yeah. They're, just, they're just names on a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Don't like, get, all right. Well, it's nice to meet you, Demarcus. All right. There's, that's not. That's not me. You go. I'm Ben. And they go right, Demarcus. <laughs> right, right. So now you're Demarcus. Now listen. The woman was just. She had her groceries on her. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you know, you you could have just l- give her a chance. Mm. What's so funny about Better Call Saul is like, or Breaking Bad, if you've only seen that, is uh, uh, Jimmy McGill's actually a great lawyer because he gives his shit. He does. He cares. Like uh, people are like, oh, he's like he's a bad lawyer because he's like a huckster and stuff. Uh, lawyers I've met do not get. There's no Charles McGill. There's no Kim Wexler. There's no Jimmy if McGill. You go they up, don't exist. If you go up to a Jimmy McGill and you lay out your whole issue, he would take it off of the off of his humanity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he actually like they would. actually care about he their clients care. in the show, which Pro I don't bono. think that's a pro bono shit. Yeah. Kim, they're always that's a theme of like mm-hmm. you know I got finally get to work on my pro bono cases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that exists. Though. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Fortunately, at the same time, they're trying to get like other lawyers to kill themselves. <laughs> and, like, they're scamming them <laughs> beyond belief, and doing yeah. tricks. There's like ten of those guys in real life, but it's I mean it's almost like they're saints because they're like. Well, I make fifty thousand dollars a year. You know, I could be making five million. Right, but and right. I wanted to help out people who you know might stab me in court one and, day. <laughs> and the greatest lawyers in the world don't they just work for pipeline companies and like uh, uh, like actual like criminals and stuff? Yeah, like, yeah. They just yeah. like the greatest like again, Alan Dershowitz just like is just arguing what pedophilia yeah. is at Harvard. 
That's literally it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's redefining the definition Dude, of pedophilia th- in the dictionary. There's so many Zoom like yeah. interviews Alan Dershowitz gets on where he's like, well, you have to understand, pederast comes from the Greek word, <laughs> which means to to grow. Yeah, he's getting into the Latin roots yeah. of fucking kids. And he's only interested in it because he knows he's the final clue. Yeah. Yes, for <laughs> it's sure. It's the only reason he's fighting it so hard. He's the last little jigsaw yeah, piece. Yeah, he's the last piece to the puzzle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, may he burn in hell. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, you guys ready to go get dinner? Yeah, yeah I think so. Good, where you yeah. got? Where you want to go? Let's talk about it. Well, I just the Chili's. I just discovered this the other day. I told Jace. I let Jace in on this little secret. There is a Chili's close by, oh, which I didn't I know. Think it's we right gotta... by the California Pizza Kitchen. What? Where? It's right. If you just what is it keep... a person's house? <laughs> I've never seen a Chili's no, there. If you keep going past the California Pizza Kitchen. There's uh there's homeless guys you know uh, ripping their own cocks off and throwing them <laughs> in the trash and a, a guy skateboarding on a giant turd like Bart Simpson mm-hmm. down the sidewalk. Yeah. There's a coyote, there's a coyote gangster in a zoot suit flipping a quarter. It is a lawless area. Yeah. That was a crazy place where like I've seen like Breaking Bad characters swerving, yeah, like cutting me off on Ventura, where I'm just like, Jesus yeah, Christ, I don't off. know what's going you on. Back off. I honked at another person one time. I was honking at like an just like a white family. Mm. And but a cholo thought I was honking at him, and he pulled up next to me, rolled his window down, <laughs> and I had to have like a big standoff with him for like ten minutes. Yeah. Where I was like, I was. It, it, it was one of those where it got to the point where he was like, "All right, homie, it's about respect. Yeah, yeah. And you got to show respect to get respect." And yeah, I was yeah. like, "You're right. Yeah, I don't know. Like my voice is cracking. Yeah. I'm like, I was once again, I was honking at the Subaru. Yeah, yeah. A, a guy pulls up to you and he rolls his window down. It's a coyote driving an Escalade and just looks over at you. Mm-hmm. I'm into Chili's. I haven't been to a Chili's since, uh, we, look, yeah, since my surgery. We don't have to. Go. <laughs> <laughs> it is. They do serve you ice cream there the way they do in hospitals, yeah. where you're like in the icy, like uh, Chil- for people. Chili's that are is dying. one of those places where if you get a salad, all the like lettuce is like glazed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they've coated each. <laughs> it, it's one. all coated in sugar yeah. somehow, so you like love it that much more. And fuck, since I've been watching better, since I finished Better Call Saul, which is like better than Breaking Bad, and people are gonna be pissed mm-hmm. about me saying mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But uh, Breaking Bad is amazing. But uh, I really want Cinnabon too, so maybe we'll hit. A, maybe we'll eat some Cinnabon. Yeah, you so. and then the, I won't, and then the yeah. Patreon will just be us going, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, is it's us the- going like, okay, come on, come on, all right, um, Michael Jackson. Is gay. <laughs> You're like fuck, and then you, and then you throw up in a bucket because you just say chilies and cinnabon. Yeah, I'm puking in like the chum bucket from Jaws. Mm-hmm. I'm puking in a bucket, and a guy's picking it up and then feeding it as chum yeah, to sharks. Where they're feeding it to the coyotes outside. <laughs> uh, well, unless this is the Patreon. We'll we, see. Don't know. Yeah. We never know, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But we did drop a lot of gay slurs on this one, yeah. so we'll see. I Who felt, cares? I, this one felt Everyone's fine, fine to me, now. honestly. I mean, what are we talking about? It's fine. Patreon.com slash Lemon Party. Uh, for something like 30 plus premium episodes now, uh, Devin has a podcast where he, he uh, fires guns off and, and, yes. and freestyle raps Hate watch and stuff. podcast. And uh, Jace is at Sad Drawings by Jace. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we protect the dogs in the coming weeks. As the coyotes have literally made a den in my backyard and are circling the house at any given yeah. moment. So who knows? This might be airing after an R.I.P. Emma post. We yeah, don't know. <laughs> and Emma's sleeping under the coffee table right now, and she's Emma. happy as a clam. Oh, you beautiful baby! You. All right, we're oh. gonna get some chi- uh, chicken crispers All and right. bring them back for Emma because th- these might be her last days on Earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never know. All right, God bless you all. all. Right. God bless everybody. Watch Bye. the live streams every Wednesdays, four p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Tomorrow. Or they won't see it by tomorrow. But yeah, Wednesdays. Bye.